creating a pre-select cutting list. Now that we've created a new worksite using defaults, we can go in under the worksite pull-down menu and check the pre-selections list. For a default, it will have one species and one length. But we will close this and go back from the run screen into the main menu, into work, bucking instructions, and tree species. Inside the tree species menu, we can change the name of the species and the name of the product. We can select the product, and now we can name each one in here. We'll name this one Sawlog. Now we will add another one. We will call it Pulp. Add another one, and we will call this one Peeler. Select OK. And those are our products inside of our Species 1. Now we can select Species 1 and rename it to Pine. The settings group will be one, and the default pre-selection right now will be none. From here, we'll blue arrow back to the main run menu and go into the pre-selection cutting list overview. Now that we're inside our overview, we're gonna create a simple cut to length cutting list. So to start with, we're gonna change the length on the first pre-select by selecting the I information tab, which will open up our complete information box for that pre-select. Inside this overview, we can, we're can we going to change the name of this pre-select, which in this case, we'll call it large cut to length. We're gonna use button number one, and we're gonna name the product saw log. We don't want anything in the minimum length category, so we're gonna zero this out, and we're gonna set the target length at 20 foot four. Now we'll set the tolerance that the automation will allow it to cut for this target length. We're gonna leave this right where the default is at negative 0.4 inches below the target length and 0.4 above the target length. We are not gonna set a go-to pre-select. We are gonna set a feeding speed of 100% and we're gonna set the small end diameter minimum to 3.5 inches. The small end diameter max isn't generally used, so we we're going to set this one to 40 inches just so it doesn't come into play. Now we will set the large end diameter, the LED minimum, and we're going to set this to zero because it doesn't come into play in this particular cutting list. Same with the large end diameter max in this particular cutting list, it doesn't come into play. So we are gonna set that to 40 inches as well. The volume limit in this case, we're gonna set to zero. Setting the volume limit to zero takes it out of play. If you do want to enter a number in there, it will allow you to cut up to that amount and then we'll stop you and give you a warning that you've cut that maximum limit for this particular pre-select. If you have color marking, here you can set the options as to which color will mark that particular pre-select. The top saw selection box, when selected, will give you the option of that pre-select automatically selecting the top saw instead of the main saw. We won't be using that option as this pre-selection will be just going to the main saw. So we have all our numbers for our basic number one button for our large cut to length at 20 foot four, and we will select OK. This will bring us back to the overview. Now from the overview that we have the first pre-selection all set up correctly with all of the parameters for your particular mill. Now, instead of 
having to do the same thing over and over again, we're going to make sure it's highlighted, and it already is because it's green, and we're going to select copy. We're going to copy this six times. So we have six pre-selects now that are all exactly the same. Now that we know all of the background parameters, such as the small end diameter and the minimum length are all set correctly, we can just set the length in this screen. So we will select 18 foot 4, 16 foot 4, 14 foot 4, 12 foot 4, and 10 foot 4. Now that we have all the lengths separated, we can go in back into the information tab for number two, and we can change the name. We'll change the name on this particular pre-selection to large CTL 18, as it's the 18 footer. Select OK, and we'll do that for all the rest of them as well. The naming sequence for each, each pre-selection has to be unique for each pre-selection. Naming everything properly for your particular application will greatly help out the production recording aspect of H16. When everything is named correctly, it will be itemized properly in the production reports, creating less confusion in the report and giving a more detailed report to what the production is from that particular machine. We will go back and change that first one to 20 foot, select OK. Now that we have our simple cutting list done, we can close this box. We can go back into the main run menu to work, bucking instructions, tree species. Now that we know that everything in this particular species is correct, we've got our product names, we've got our lengths, We've got the species name. What we can do is we can copy, select yes. We can copy it again, select yes. And one more time for four species. And now rename them after they have been copied. Spruce, balsam, and fir. Doing that created four separate species, all named separately, but with all the same lengths inside of each of those species. Now we can change the setting group to two, three, and four, respectively. We will leave the default preselection to none, but we can also select a particular preselect for it to start feeding to when it is switched to that species. This is a very handy feature if you are running multiple species. This gives you the ability to have a one button species press starting whichever pre-selection you choose in this pull down menu to be the pre-selection that starts feeding when the species is selected and changed. We will set these to none right now for this initial test. And we'll go back to the run screen by pressing the blue arrow. Now from the run screen, we can go back into the worksite pull down menu, into pre-selections, and have a look at that list that we just copied. So this was our first pine species. Now we have the four spruce, balsam, and fir.
that are all the same, all the same lengths, all the same settings, all the same product groups named. Close this, back to our run screen, where we can go to work because we have our cutting list all loaded now.